Hi, this is Candice. Today I'm going to show you how to scan really large images and then to prepare those images uh, via Photoshop with Photoshop so that you can uh, print it on any size format printer. I'm going to show you some of my work that I've done in this way and uh, you will be surprised at the quality that you get. Um, because we have a problem. We paint something really large. I've got a painting here that is uh, 1 meter by 71. And uh, so uh, I took it down to my print shop. Uh, they did it for me once. Then they told me no, that it, it broke the machine when it went through uh, the scanner. Uh, maybe because I used a bit of salt on the, on the actual painting. Um, it was a bit textured to dry some of the areas and uh, so uh, I felt really bad and then I had to read up and watch some videos and that and then I finally found a solution. So what I ended up doing, I ended up buying myself uh, this big scanner, it's an A3 scanner. So it's going to scan uh, an A3 area for me. So uh, what I'm doing is I'm scanning my page uh, by moving it uh, and overlapping it with uh, an inch or two on each side. Um, so I put it on the corner and I'm just going to move it along. Right. This is a bit of a tricky situation, just getting it exactly right. I've got it close there. And then uh, I'm going to activate my scanner here. And, uh, so I'll be scanning this. So there we go, now I'm scanning. So I'm scanning that uh, corner there. Then I shift it up and I scan the next area. Then I shift it up again and I scan the next area until I've scanned, done eight different scans of the same uh, image. And uh, that will then give me uh, eight or nine, in fact, I was doing nine. Uh, that will give me nine different scans of the same uh, image because there's three on this side, three on that side, and then they, I did one in the middle that over overlapped. So that's my scan done. Now let's go to the computer. In my intro, I didn't ask for a description, but we'll do it in the end. Okay, now you've got to make sure that you get the screen right there. Okay, okay so I've got uh, Photoshop on my uh, computer here. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to merge these photos on Photoshop uh, to get a final image. So uh, what I do is firstly, I get to my images. Uh, they will be here in documents and uh, those are the different images that I've scanned. So I had to uh, uh, rotate three of them to, 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 to the right uh, side and uh, I'm going to take these images now and I'm going to include it into my project. So I go to Photoshop, I go to File and we scroll down to automate and then from automate we go to photo merge the one right at the bottom we press photo merge and then this window opens then we go browse we go to libraries documents where i've got all my images and i select all of them by pressing shift up to there and I say okay right there are my nine images and then I press okay now I wait for the magic to happen it will take a little while and uh, the file will be rather large because each of these scans uh, are fairly large and I wait for it and I wait for it and it's going to do it right now Right, it goes through different processes. Right, look at that. It stitched the image together. But now we've got a couple of uh, funny edges. 
uh, that we're going to fix. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to rotate it uh, 90 degrees uh, clockwise and uh, we'll zoom in a bit just to see what a bit closer and we want to crop this one up to up to there right and we'll go to the top and there's a funny line that made there so we'll crop it up to there this one we'll crop all of that out on the side and then this one at the bottom will come up to there so we crop it and um, right that's it and uh, once we've cropped it we'll just save it so let's send this thing to the printer to have a look and see what, what the quality looks like um, I really love to see how the quality looks like when we scan it in on this way. Yeah.